In this demonstration, I will uh, tell you about the output data report. In the output data report, you have different setting, different um, values here, different outputs. You have throughput, which is throughput per hour, what has been produced in the production line. In this case, the whole case the whole plant produced about 43 parts of which is variant A 15 parts, variant B is 10 parts, variant C 12 parts and variant D is 4 parts. This is the average number of parts produced per hour. The lead time is the lead time through the line. So once a part has been created in the source uh, the, um, the time is started and when it leaves the sink this time it takes to leave to move from the source to the sink is this time you see here but these are the average value so for all products in the production line there is a lead time of 7800 seconds so I think that's uh, about two hours. And there are a little bit different lead times for different products, as you can see here. You have work in process. Work in process is the, um, the average amount of parts that are in the production line. So uh, products may be located on uh, buffer objects, machines and if you take for example uh, if you would count the number of products every hour for example in the production line the first hour you might get um, the number of product 60 products for example the second time you might get 70 products and the next time you might get 80 products and when you uh, take an average value of, of this you get this while you're here. So this is the average work in process for this production line. So for the time that you have simulated. Produced parts is the number of produced parts during the simulation run. So if you have set the simulation model to run for one week, these are all the products that has been produced during this time in average of all replications. So, in this simulation model, you have 5,153 parts produced in totally on this. Occupation of buffers is the percentage value of the occupation of the buffers. So, how much they have been utilized, mainly. You can see that buffer 20 is the buffer that has been utilized the most. It's the most occupied buffer since it has 79% uh, of the time, uh, no, 79% uh, fill rate. Buffer 20, you have it here. So this buffer is the buffer that has the most parts in average over time. If we look at utilization, we have um, different status of uh, the machines or the operations you have working when a machine is working or doing processing time of some kind of work with a part you have failed when you have a disturbance you have set up when there's a sequence dependent tool change you have waiting when a operation is waiting for parts when it's empty and waiting for parts to enter the operation you are blocked when the machine is finished uh, processing a part, but it can't move this part to the next um, object in line because this object is full. For example, that the uh, buffer 20 in this case is full. So operation 10 can't move to this buffer. Break is uh, when breaks uh, is used in the simulation models. However, it's not used at the moment. The same thing with unplanned. As you can see here, this is um, a simulation of 10 replications. So these are average values. You can see the 
the time that operation 21 has been working and it's 71.27% of the time. The time that it has been um, failed is about 9% and then it has been waiting and blocked. Then you have the bottleneck. Uh, this is a bottleneck analysis. However, this will be explained in another demonstration. You may also see settings if you click directly in the model here. For example, if you click on sync, which is the most interesting. I told you that we ran uh, 10 replications, but uh, it seems like we only ran it for 5 replications this time. However, you can see the results of the mean value here. This is the plant throughput. Throughput per hour is 43. Standard deviation is 1.9. This is the, a measure on variability, how much it differs from simulation to simulation. And uh, here you can see the individual results of each replication run. The first replication you had a 43, 46, 42, 42, 42. And um, you have the lead time and you have all of these different values as you can see here. There are a lot of values. And this is mainly for the, the sync object, as you can see here. How much time it has been empty. Now it on, on, has a processing time of zero, I think, so it has no working time. We can look at uh, an operation, operation 30, for example. You also have the plant outputs here as well, but you also have uh, operation 30, how in average how much work and process uh, it is in this operation, uh, how much of time it's working, how much of the time um, this is the proportion of time it's working, and this is the time it's working. The time, uh, the failed portion, um, the operation, and this is the time for uh, failed time in total and so on. So you have a lot of different values here, but you can see for the different replications the values for each replication run. You can also press plant and here you get plant data information. Uh, however, you may also get more information if you have more parts, how much has been produced with the different parts. It is not visible uh, at the moment, but it will be visible quite soon. So, but then you also have, for example, throughput per hour per each uh, variant part, per each part. And uh, this is what I wanted to tell you about the output data.